Good evening and welcome everyone to the Antler Sports Network for this presentation of playoff basketball. We have a matchup in two-way, District 21, for a playoff spot. It's win or go home. We're on the campus of Union Grove High School, home of the Lions, for this presentation of high school basketball. Jared Jones with you for this evening's proceedings. We have a matchup between the 17-11 Hawkins Hawks and the 13-24 Big Sandy Wildcats. Both of these teams finishing near the bottom of their district tied at 4-6. and six. The winner of this ball game will play Douglas in the first round. Hawkins coming into this ball game with a record of 11 and 17, 4 and 6 in district, record of 3 and 6 in neutral site play. The Big Sandy Wildcats standing at 1 and 3 in neutral site play. Hawkins, the designated home team in their home white uniforms, blue jersey trim, blue numerals and lettering with black trim. Big Sandy in their visiting blues, white uniform trim with yellow numerals and numberings with white trim as well. Tip is up and controlled by the Wildcats. Dribble out to the top of the key, drives, taking their time on offense. Big Sandy is very, always very adamant to taking their time on offense, taking full advantage of there being no shot clock in high school basketball. Controlling it is Sean Gregor, the starting two guard, swings it over to Fountain. Fountain finds his man in the middle, can't get it, no good. Jake Johnson, his first shot of the ball game, rebounded, controlled by Driston Pruitt with the board, leading the Hawks in scoring this season, averaging 10.7 points per game. In the corner now is Torres. Torres drive, top of the key, swings it around. Both of these teams also very adamant at swinging the ball. Wing three, doesn't take it, takes a head fake. Back to the side, now it's Boston Connor. Connor driving into the corner, it's Bryce Burns, rattles it in for three. The scoring opening now, Hawkins taking their first shot. One up, one down. So far, 100% from the field. The Hawks taking a quick 3-0 lead. Tip pass, gets it to Gregory. Gregory sidestep, going to take a three of his own. Nothing but net through contact for the three-point bomb. We have a tie ball game now. Here come the Hawks. After the Burns, three in the corner. Big Sandy implementing that full court press. Hawkins slowly crossing the timeline here, spins out of it, and then we'll send it in their half-court offense. Dribble handoff now, back out to Pruitt. Pruitt swings it to Connor. Connor finding anything, drive to the top of the key, swings it over to Mike Starska. Looking now, here's Torres, kicks it back out to the top of the key. Starska drives, gets it stolen by Gregory, and Gregory's on the break for Big Sandy. Tries to get an easy layup, goes up, out of travel, but takes the two points anyhow. It's 5-3 now, your score, Big Sandy, getting out to a quick one possession lead. Six minutes, five seconds left to go in the first quarter of play. Puts it into the middle. Rest has been broken now. Hawkins will settle into their half-court set. Back to Pruitt. Pruitt swings to Connor. Connor to the top of the key to Torres. Torres swings it to Pruitt again. Pruitt almost met by a double team, but gets it out in time. Top of the key, doesn't want it, drives, going up, swatted away by Jezreel Backer. The big man in the middle protecting the rim extremely well, sitting in help, doing a great job getting over and getting the clean block. And they'll get two points out of it. Big Sandy jumping out to a quick 7-3 lead in the first quarter. 5.27 left to go. Hawkins using a lot of passes to get out of that half, get to that full court trap. That's the best way to break these presses. No matter how good the team is, need to keep the ball moving to try to advance the ball, and they do. Over to the corner now is Connor. Connor drives, fantastic pass to Torres. A little too much muscle on it, stolen. Outlet pass to Gregory, stolen, falls out of bounds. Fantastic save, and Hawkins will get another chance at possession here. Here's Connor. Connor drives, goes up for it. Might have been hit there. Torres saves it, fantastic hustle. Back out to Burns. Burns for a second three, can't get it. Back iron, no good. Rebound by the Wildcats. Here's Gregory now. Two on one break. Goes up through traffic. Can't get it to go. Rebound Burns. Burns gets it out. Both teams, both coaches look to their teams to try to push. Goes up as Torres on the other side of the lane. Rattles in. Good for two. The dry spell ending for the Hawkins Hawks. Let's see if they can get another turnover on defense. They forced three so far this afternoon. Into the corner now is Francis. Francis takes his first three of the ball game. No good. Rebound Torres taking his time, and here come the Hawks. Boston Connor swings it up. Over to Truitt. Pruitt goes up for two. Can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound. Goes right back up and is fouled. We have our first foul of the ball game here. Going to be a shooting foul. Big Sandy looking to make a substitution. 
That foul is going to be on Big Sandy's number 13, Jake Johnson. His first personal foul, first team foul. That foul is going to be on the 6'3". Junior forward on the line for the Hawkins Hawks, shooting two shots. Knocks down his first shot. It's Tristan Pruitt coming into the ball game for the Big Sandy Wildcats. Number 23, A.J. Johnson, the 6'3 sophomore, getting his initial action. Second shot is no good. Front iron can't get it to go. Big Sandy is out and running here. Finds the drive, kicks it back out. Swings it to Gregory. Gregory takes a heavily contested three. Can't get it to go. Brought down by Burns. Here comes Hawkins. Finds wide open three. Drew it. Can't get it to go. Yes, he does. Shooters roll. Knocks down the trifecta. We got ourselves a ball game still. 9-7 your score. Over to Gregory. Gregory pump fakes has taken 3-3 three, three so far. Only one for three from downtown so far this afternoon. Last time you saw him here on the Antler Sports Network against the Carlisle Indians, they did a fantastic job of knocking down the three ball. Nice head fake, tries to knock down the 20-footer, can't get it to go. Rebound in any way, fantastic head fake and rebound by Jezreel Backer. Can't get points out of whoever, 9-7 still your score. 324 left to go in the first quarter. Top of the key. You know it again, Burns can't get it to go, rebound to Gregory. And the Wildcats are pushing now. Here's Gregory. Takes yet another three. Can't get it to go. He's one for four, 25%. Might have been a rough shot there. Head coach Daniel Shipman didn't really like that shot. I can kind of understand why. Want to try to get into the flow of the offense. Torres can't get the free throw line jumper to fall. And Big Sandy heads the other way with it. Winner of this ball game gets to face Douglas in the first round. Both of these teams tied for the fourth spot. Is going to be a blocking foul along that far side baseline. That foul is going to be on. Hawkins, number two, Boston Connor. That is his first personal foul, first team foul. Subbing in for the Hawkins Hawks is number 24, Marshall White, the 5'8 junior guard, getting his initial action. Ball we place under the basket. Here come the Wildcats. Quick three in the corner. No good from Kamari Fountain. Trying to get the rebound as Sean Gregory saves it. Fantastic hands. Top of the key three for Backert. Nothing but net knocks down the three. Hawks maintaining possession after giving up that three at the top of the key from Backer. Finds Torres down the middle, gets it to go. Fantastic job to fight through contact. Get the easy deuce under the basket in the lane. 2.13 left to go in the first quarter. Here's Gregory. Swings it over to Jake Johnson. Johnson finds Johnson in the corner. A.J. Johnson can't get that corner three to fall. Rebound white. Here comes the Hawkins Hawks yet again. Torres getting that last bucket in the lane, stopping the dry spell on offense. Goes right back to him. Can't get it. Smokes the layup. Easy layup about two feet from the goal. Can't get it to fall. Here's Gregory. Gregory, head fakes, takes his time, kicks it back out to Johnson. Johnson over to Fountain, looking for Johnson on the wing. Finds Backer. Backer immediately tipped, stolen away by White. And Hawkins has another chance after forcing their fifth turnover of the first quarter alone. Swings it to the wing. Immediately about by the double team. Marshall White, top of the key. Three wide open. Can't get it. Back it rebounds it out to Gregory. Gregory out to Johnson. Johnson drives. Ball's going to be tipped out of bounds by Hawkins. Number 11, Tristan Pruitt. Ball goes out of bounds. It will stay here. Something back into the ball game. For Big Sandy will be number zero. Elijah Francis and number 21, Blake Wilson. Wilson getting his initial action into the ball game. 122 left to go in this first quarter. Gregory bounds it to Wilson. Here's Wilson now. Torres on him. Wilson swings it to Gregory at the close side wing. Gregory gets it to Francis. Francis back to Gregory. 1-2-2 two, two zone being played by the Hawkins Hawks. Very adamant in trying to protect the lane, and they do. Marshall White, fantastic hands to get the steal. Torres gets it out, fine, tries to find White, almost falls out of bounds. Great balance by the guard, and the Hawkins Hawks are running yet again. Here's Connor. Connor trying to get away from the big man here. Finds White on the wing, going to be tipped, and it will be three shots. That foul is going to be on Big Sandy's number two, Sean Gregory. First personal foul, second team foul. On the line, shooting three for the Marshall Hawks. Is, well, excuse me, not for the Marshall Hawks. For the Hawkins Hawks is number 24, Marshall White. His first trip to the charity stripe this afternoon. First shot is up and good.
Second shot off the side iron, no good. Substitution being made for the Hawks and for the Wildcats. Subbing in for Hawkins is number four. Drew Dacus subbing back into the ball game is number 12 for Big Sandy Kamari found the starting shooting guard, the freshman. Only freshman in the starting lineup for either team getting back onto the floor. Third shot for White. Rattles in and it's good. Going two for three from the line of that last trip. Big Sandy pushing the tempo a bit. Back out to Francis. Francis tipped by Torres. Back across the timeline they go. Gets it into the corner. Wide open three. Can't get it to go. A.J. Johnson gets the rebound, hands it off to Melodja Francis, and Big Sandy has a chance to get another second chance bucket. Jake Johnson a lot of three, but didn't take it, resetting his offense. Swings over to Fountain, Fountain to Francis. Francis driving, finds Johnson in the lane. Baby hook shot, no good, tries to go for a second time, can't get it. Here comes Torres, and the Hawks running on the fast break. Doesn't have numbers, slows everything back down, kicks it over to the corner to Boston Connor. Connor spins. Finds White, top of the key, makes one more extra pass to Jake Shaw, can't get it to go, rebound Torres. Torres goes up at the horn, shot will not count, and that ends your first quarter of play. Your score here on the campus of Union Grove High School, the Hawkins Hawks, the Hawkins Hawks 13, the Big Sandy Wildcats 10. We'll be right back after a short timeout on the Antler Sports Network and the Antler Sports Network Live. You are powered by Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler. To make winning decisions, you need a championship team in your corner. Monument Realty, led by Anthony Hyder, is that championship team. With countless houses sold in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, you're sure to score the right abode for you and your family. If finding the perfect home is in your future's game plan, then Monument Realty and Anthony Hyder are your perfect play call to get the job done. Monument Realty in Frisco, Texas, the official realtor company of the Dallas Cowboys, the Texas Rangers, and the Antler Sports Network. Welcome back to the Antler Sports Network. Play resuming, fresh eight minutes. The second quarter is underway. Hawkins up on Big Sandy, 13 to 10. Here's Boston Connor, top of the key, looking. Finds Tristan Pewitt, Torres, fantastic skip pass, can't get it to go. Right under the basket, rebound, Fountain, and Fountain's pushing. Fountain looking for some help on offense, doesn't find anything, backs back out, slows everything down, 7.33 left to go in the first half. Hawkins lost the last meeting 50-41 to 41 in Big Sandy. Blocking foul will be a call on the floor by the close side official. That, ball is that foul is going to be called on Hawkins, number two, Boston Connor. Second personal foul, second team foul. Francis over to Johnson in the corner. Can't get it to fall. A.J. Johnson on the follow through. Can't get it to go either. Third time's the charm. No ball's going to be tipped out of bounds by Johnson, but the officials will keep it here. It'll be Big Sandy possession under the basket. A.J. Johnson, 6'3", could have had an easy tip in there. Just didn't have the touch to follow through on the putback jumper. Skips it to Francis. Stolen by Pruitt, but Francis gets it right back. Finds Johnson again. Makes up for it this time. Easy bucket under the rim for two. A.J. Johnson opening his scoring. That's two easy points for him. Right under the basket using all that 6'3 frame. Stolen by Blake Johnson. And Johnson's running, looking for something here as the Hawkins defense retreats and resets. Skip pass over to Francis. Francis to Fountain. Fountain takes the pull-up jumper. Can't get it to go. Fantastic rebound by Drew Dacus. Dacus gets it over to Connor. Connor skips it to Marshall White. Immediately met by the double team along the baseline. Tries to get out of danger. Does find Boston Connor. Torres still moving around that paint. Had some easy attempts at shots in the first quarter of play. And Drew Dacus swings around for the easy two points. Fantastic job by Torres to kind of be a bit of a decoy of the basket to get Dacus wide open for the layup. Johnson gets it to Francis. Francis going to be go up through contact. Fans behind me here in the Lions Center here at Union Grove High School not happy. That foul is going to be called on Hawkins, number 11, Driston Pruitt. His first personal foul, 13 foul. Substitution. Pending for the Hawks. 
On the line shooting two for Big Sandy's Malaysia Francis, the 5'9 freshman starting point guard. First shot, can't get it to fall. Subbing in for Hawkins is number 21, Bryce Burns, the starting four, coming back into the ball game. Also subbing in for Big Sandy is number 11, Jezreel Backert, and number two, Sean Gregory. Big Sandy losing three straight to finish off the season. One and three in neutral site play, trying to make that record two and four. Rebound Gregory, no push off under the basket there. Gregory gets it out to Fountain. Fountain head fakes, drives. Can't find anything, does find half. Gregory on the side, but can't get it out to him in time. Marshall White with the steal. Top of the key, three, four. Boston Connor nails the trifecta. And head coach Daniel Shipman needs a timeout. We have a tie ball game, 15-15. You're watching the Antler Sports Network and the Antler Sports Network live viewer. Powered by Thompson Tire Services in Tyler. Hello, my name is Tarnisha. And my name's Anthony. And we own Drip Like Jesus. Drip stands for devote, reach, influence people, just like Jesus did. Each one of our apparel has a scripture on the back that goes with the design. It's our cool way of spreading the gospel and looking fly. We are located in Stonebriar Mall in Frisco and also online at www.driplikejesus.com. So feel free to go online and shop or come check us out in Frisco. And thank you for helping us spread the gospel. Welcome back to the Antler Sports Network. We resume play in the second quarter. 18-12, your score. Hawkins up. Here comes the big Sandy Wildcats trying to find something going on offense. Sean Gregory had a quick rebound under the basket. Couldn't get any second chance points out of it. Hawkins implementing their jump trap out of that 1-2-2 zone. Switching to more of a man zone mix it appears to be. Swings it to Gregory. Gregory head fakes. Struggling to find anything. Ball's going to be tipped. And it will be a backcourt violation. Fantastic Half-court defense by the Hawkins Hawks to force a turnover. A lot of confusion by the Big Sandy Wildcat offense. They're going to have to find a solution quickly. This game can get out of hand. Six-point ball game already. 5.27 left to go in the first half. And bounce into Connor. Connor hitting the last three before we went to break. Swings it over to Tristan Pewitt. Pewitt scoring leader amongst his Hawkins Hawks teammates, averaging 10.7. Turning is Burns. Falling, can't get it to go. Going to be a block going back up with it is Drew Dacus. He's going to head to the line for two. On the foul for Big Sandy is going to be number 23, A.J. Johnson. His first personal foul, third team foul. Dacus will head to the line for two the easy way. Dacus' first shot is good. The Hawks, only one of these two teams to play Douglas earlier in the seat, excuse me, in the first round of last season as Dakins hits the second free throw. Played Douglas in the first round of last season, losing 62-55. to 55. Hawkins looking for a chance at redemption to fight last season's Demas. Athletic steal by Boston Connor. He's got numbers at the three-on-two break. Nice floater off the tip of the backboard, and it's good. Big Sandy needs a bucket and a stop as fast as possible. Here's Sean Gregory. And head coach Daniel Shipman will call a timeout. We'll take a timeout with him. You're watching the Antler Sports Network on the Antler Sports Network Live. You are powered by Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler. Welcome back to the Antler Sports. We want to take a minute to thank some of our sponsors for this ball game. Just to name a few, we want to thank Scotty Report, Scotting Platform. Shout out to Matt Oswald, fantastic guy. If you need an opportunity to get your kids some exposure, any coaches or athletic directors out there, this is the man to do with playing connections with multiple Division I schools across all major sports. If you would like to sponsor, go to antlersn.com forward slash more ASN forward slash sponsorship to get your business or service broadcasted to ASN fans. Quick shot by Francis, no good, barely touching the front of the rim. Can't get it to fall. Hawkins looking to try to continue their run. Currently on almost a 10-0 run. Big Sandy unable to get anything going on offense and defense. Bound trying to go for the steal. Boston Connor swings it over to Burns. Burns for three, can't get it to fall. Hasn't hit a three since the first quarter. 
one for four so far from downtown. Same as Sean Gregory, I'd like to note. Here's Found. Found is going to be called for a carry. Another turnover by Big Sandy. That's three in a row, even after the timeout. Hawkins had another opportunity to capitalize. Quick substitution being made. Jake Johnson coming back into the ball game, taking a seat will be Kamari Found. Here's Boston Connor. Connor back at the top of the key. Low swing pass over to Marshall White. Marshall to Torres. Back to Connor. Connor wide open three. Can't get it to go. Hits the top of the of the backboard's clock, and he'll be out of bounds. Big Sandy will take possession. 354 left to go in the second. Here come the Wildcats. Sean Gregory and his offense. A little bit slower than they were earlier on in the second quarter. Jump trap being implemented, reaches across. Malaysia Francis, wide open three. Can't get it to fall. Rebound burns. Head coach Daniel Shipman wanting a foul there. Try to get the ball into the free throw line to try to penetrate that jump trap, that zone. Still no whistle from the official. Special thank you to our officials for this ball game. Officials from the Tyler and Longview chapter coming together for this afternoon's matchup. Scoop layup, can't get it to fall. It's going to be a reaching foul called on Torres. Ball goes out of bounds. Torres' first personal foul, 14 foul. Substitution being made for Hawkins. Marshall taking a seat, coming into the game. Back into the game is Michael Starska, the starting two guard. 3.15 left to go in the second. 22-12, still your score. Both teams kind of going through a bit of a dry spell. Here's Francis. Back into Johnson, finds Gregory, sidesteps, doesn't let go, but Johnson will top of the key. Not the but net, knocks down his second three of the ball game. That might be the spark that the Wildcats need to get back into this ball game. 22-15, your score, 255 left to go in the first half. Here's Starska, skips it up to Torres, A.J. Johnson on him. Johnson falls, no foul called whatsoever, but the ball will go out of bounds. Big Sandy basketball. Johnson trying to draw the foul, but does force a turnover nonetheless. Big Sandy will take back possession. 2.41 left to go. Here's Francis. Francis to Johnson. Johnson into Blake. Johnson is going to be called for a foul. I don't know if it's going to be on the floor. Will be on the floor. That foul is going to be on Hawkins, number five, Jeremy Torres. That's his second personal foul. 15 foul. Substitution being made. Torres will most likely be taking a seat. And no, he won't. He'll stay under the floor. Coming in for Hawkins is number 11, Driston Pewitt. Gregory inbounding under his own basket. Has Johnson. Top of the key three. That's back-to-back -back for him. He's heating up, keeping Big Sandy in this ball game. 22-18 now your score. Swings it to Starska. Starska inbounds it at the short corner to Torres. Back out. Starska to Connor. Connor swings it. I can see to be running a bit of a triangle set going up. It's the under the basket. Tough shot by Tristan Pruitt. Pruitt gets the easy deuce, and Connor comes up with the steal. Has Torres leaning, but fantastic hands by Elijah Francis. Backer can't get it either. Hawkins getting at the ball yet again. Boston Connor goes up over Johnson. No contact, no foul. But it will be a on-the-ground foul called once again on Torres. That'll be his third personal. Needless to say, he'll be taking a seat. Third personal 16. As Drew Dacus will sub in for Torres. Got into some easy foul trouble. Both back to back fouls. Little ticky tack foul. Some officials may call it, some officials won't. And here's Sean Gregory. 145 left to go on the second. Francis. Case it to Johnson. Johnson high skip pass. Francis and Mount pass to AJ Johnson. Johnson spins. Can't get it to go. Backer with the glass. Cleaning the glass there is going to be a jump ball called, and it will be possession. Big Sandy, fantastic hustle by Backer and Blake Johnson to keep possession for the Wildcats. Subbing in for the Hawkins Hawks will be number 23, Jake Shaw once again. Taking a seat will be Boston Connor. Hit two clutch threes for Big Sandy to go on that earlier 7-2 run. The first big section of the second quarter. Into Backer. Backer, Gregory, head fakes, drives. Pump fakes, sub, leaning shot, can't get it. Backert goes back up, rolls in, easy two points. Keeping the game 
at an arm's distance. Hawkins needs to try to get a bucket to secure that lead they had. Biggest lead of the game was eight. Now the lead cut in half. Four-point lead now for the Hawkins Hawks. Swoops back to Pewitt. Pewitt finds his man at the top of the key. It's Burns. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Big Sandy. Here comes Gregory yet again. Gregory swings it out of danger to Blake Johnson. Johnson back to Gregory. Hawkins showing trap almost immediately when the ball leaves the hands. Blake Johnson into Backert. Backert spins amongst three defenders. Easy for two. That's back-to-back. -back. Fantastic buckets in the lane for Backert. Backert, if you remember, against Carlisle, had his way down the lane. Did a fantastic job of getting positioning under the basket. And speaking of under the basket, there's going to be a foul on Jake Johnson. There's going to be a second personal foul, 14 foul. Johnson trying to reach over, over Dacus and get the steal. Officials say it was a little too much contact. Here's Burns. Burns at the top of the key. Finds Starska. Starska skips through, drives. Going to be a foul call. It's going to be on the shot. That foul's going to be on Big Cindy's. Number 13, Jake Johnson, that's his third foul, two back-to-back -back quick fouls. Head coach Daniel Shipman making a substitution after this first shot on the line is number three, the starting two guard, Micah Starska. First shot is good. Coming into the ballgame for the Wildcats is number 10, Christian McCleveland. Johnson will take a seat. Hawkins 3-13 against playoff opponents so far this season, both regular season and district season play as the second shot falls. Big Sandy 12-5 against sub-500 clubs. See if they can increase that mark tonight. Biggest game of the season for both of these teams. Winner will be playing Douglas in the first round. Hawkins losing to Douglas in the first round just last season. Here's Johnson way downtown. Nothing but air. Two seconds, one seconds. Full court heave opportunity is up and no good, and that is the first half of play. Come back here on the Antler Sports Network. Your score here on the campus of Union Grove High School, Falcons Hawks 26 to Big Sandy Wildcats 22. You're watching the Antler Sports Network on the Antler Sports Network Live. You are powered by Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler. A car is one of the biggest purchases you'll ever make. It's how you get to work, how you take the kids to school, and how you get to some of life's biggest moments. Why not treat it as such? Whenever your car needs some tender love and care, visit Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler on 321 South Bonner Avenue, just five minutes south from Christus Trinity Mother Francis Rose Stadium. Joe Thompson and his team of professionals bring decades of under the hood experience to ensure that your car runs to the best of its ability. Any make, any model, any year, Thompson Tire and Services is the only place to get the best service for your car in East Texas. Open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and closed on weekends probably wondering, where is everyone in your area going for screen printing and promotional needs? It's simple. ABS T-Shirt Graphics. They can print on anything. We're talking shirts, hoodies, cups, pens, and pretty much anything that you can put a logo on. ABS T-Shirt Graphics is here to fulfill your company, organization, and fundraising needs. For a free quote, call 903-939-0990. ABS T-Shirt Graphics, located one half of a mile outside of the loop on 155 South. Don't forget to like them on Facebook. ABS T-Shirt Graphics. To make winning decisions, you need a championship team in your corner. Monument Realty, led by Anthony Heider, is that championship team. With countless houses sold in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, you're sure to score the right abode for you and your family. If finding the perfect home is in your future's game plan, then Monument Realty and Anthony Heider are your perfect play call to get the job done. Monument Realty in Frisco, Texas, the official realtor company of the Dallas Cowboys, the Texas Rangers, and the Antler Sports Network.
Hello, my name is Tarnisha. My name's Anthony. And we own Drip Like Jesus. Drip stands for devote, reach, influence people, just like Jesus did. Each one of our apparel has a scripture on the back that goes with the design. It's our cool way of spreading the gospel and looking fly. We are located in Stonebriar Mall in Frisco and also online at www.driplikejesus.com. So feel free to go online and shop or come check us out in Frisco. And thank you for helping us spread the gospel. A car is one of the biggest purchases you'll ever make. It's how you get to work, how you take the kids to school, and how you get to some of life's biggest moments. Why not treat it as such? Whenever your car needs some tender love and care, visit Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler on 321 South Bonner Avenue, just five minutes south from Christus Trinity Mother Francis Row Stadium. Joe Thompson and his team of professionals bring decades of under the hood experience to ensure that your car runs to the best of its ability. Any make, any model, any year, Thompson Tire and Services is the only place to get the best service for your car in East Texas. Open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and closed on weekends probably wondering, where is everyone in your area going for screen printing and promotional needs? It's simple. ABS T-Shirt Graphics. They can print on anything. We're talking shirts, hoodies, cups, pens, and pretty much anything that you can put a logo on. ABS T-Shirt Graphics is here to fulfill your company, organization, and fundraising needs. For a free quote, call 903-939-0990. ABS T-Shirt Graphics, located one half of a mile outside of the loop on 155 South. Don't forget to like them on Facebook. ABS T-Shirt Graphics. To make winning decisions, you need a championship team in your corner. Monument Realty, led by Anthony Heider, is that championship team. With countless houses sold in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, you're sure to score the right abode for you and your family. If finding the perfect home is in your future's game plan, then Monument Realty and Anthony Heider are your perfect play call to get the job done. Monument Realty in Frisco, Texas, the official realtor company of the Dallas Cowboys, the Texas Rangers, and the Antler Sports Network. My name is Tarnisha. My name's Anthony. And we own Drip Like Jesus. Drip stands for devote, reach, influence people, just like Jesus did. Each one of our apparel has a scripture on the back that goes with the design. It's our cool way of spreading the gospel and looking fly. We are located in Stonebriar Mall in Frisco and also online at www.driplikejesus.com. So feel free to go online and shop or come check us out in Frisco. And thank you for helping us spread the gospel. A car is one of the biggest purchases you'll ever make. It's how you get to work, how you take the kids to school, and how you get to some of life's biggest moments. Why not treat it as such? Whenever your car needs some tender love and care, visit Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler on 321 South Bonner Avenue, just five minutes south from Christus Trinity Mother Francis Row Stadium. Joe Thompson and his team of professionals bring decades of under the hood experience to ensure that your car runs to the best of its ability. Any make, any model, any year, Thompson Tire and Services is the only place to get the best service for your car in East Texas. Open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and closed on weekends.
Welcome back to the Antler Sports Network. We resume the second half of play here. Hawkins holding the four-point lead, 26-22. Third quarter is underway, fresh eight minutes here at Union Grove High School here at the Lions Center. John Gregory with a quick steal, looking to change their fortunes from early in the first half. A.J. Johnson rises up, can't get it to fall. Fantastic job by Stauskas to use that size against Johnson to force the missed layup. Dacus drives over backer, can't get it to fall. Torres can't get the consuming rebound to go either. Here's Gregory. John Gregory drives, finds Johnson in the corner. Johnson drives, has Malaysia Francis over to Fountain. Fountain hesitates, fires for three, knocks it down for the trifecta. The Wildcats coming out swinging. Head coach Daniel Chipman and his Wildcats trying to string together a comeback, a one point game here. 26 25, 7 09 left to go. Into Burns. Burns battling with Backert. Pivoting. Fall away jumper. Can't get it to go. Rebound taken by Torres. Doesn't get it. Official blows the whistle. Be an official timeout. Malaysia Francis' glasses seem to have fallen off his face there. Sitting amongst the trees, but Big Sandy, Big Sandy will take possession. With the clips to Minden and a handful of seconds here in the third quarter. Still a one point game. Here's Gregory finding something over to Found. Found swings back out to Gregory. The Hawkins defense scrambling, trapping at any minute they can. Out to Francis. Francis open three. Can't get it to fall. Rebound by Pruitt. Pruitt driving immediately met by Francis. And Found. Francis comes up with the steal. It's a three on two break. Goes up and something's going to be a foul call. Fantastic job to fight through the contact. That foul is going to be on number three, Micah Starska. His first personal foul, first team foul. Next to the line to get two, the easy way is number zero for the Wildcats, Malaysia Francis. First shot is no good. The first time in almost more than a, well, excuse me, almost two decades at the Hawks and Wildcats meeting at a neutral site. Big Sandy leading the all-time series since 2007, however, as the second free throw is good. Big Sandy leading the all-time series 18 games to 12. Here's Stoska. Into Burns. Starska again. Going to be called for a travel turnover. Possession. Big Sandy with a chance to take their first lead of the ball game. Here's Francis. Excuse me, not Francis. A.J. Johnson now over the top to Fountain. High skip pass over to Gregory, R very risky pass. Starska close on him. Over to Backert, Backert to Johnson. Wanting that long distance three, but doesn't take it. There's another risky skip pass this time. Starska takes advantage of it. Starska driving, tipped out of bounds. Going to be last touch on Sean Gregory. Substitution being made. Coming back into the ball game will be Marshall White. Here's Pruitt. Pruitt drives, skies through the lane, and gets the bucket for two. Hawkins retaking the lead. 28-26, 5.35 left to go in the third. Johnson to Francis. Francis head fakes, drives back out to Fountain. Fountain takes the three himself, can't get it. Rebound tip by Beckert, hauled in by Boston Connor. Connor, high pass to Burns. Burns goes up, can't get it. Torres goes up himself. But he gets it to go. Second time the charm there for Torres. Fantastic job trailing, getting the second chance. Layup to fall. 30 26, your score. 5 10 left to go. Johnson skips to Gregory. Gregory jabs. Fountain. Open three. Rattles it home from deep. One point game now. Big Sandy showing a lot more fight than they did in the first half. Not going away easily. There's Gregory's going to be. Drawing the foul, Bryce Burns is going to be called for the loose ball foul. His, pers his first personal foul, first team foul. Break a little slow to get up. Might have got a quick crick in his neck. Seems to be good. Here's Fountain now. Down across from the timeline, 445 left. Back over to Backer. Backer to Gregory. Head fakes, drives. Back to Fountain again. Fountain 
Euro steps through. Going to be a foul called again on Bryce. Going to be on Bryce Burns, his first personal foul. And Fountain will head to the line for two shots. Big Sandy dropping their last three of the season, their most recent outings. Losing to Carlisle on the Amherst Sports Network. We're back on February the 8th, 43 to 40. Losing on the 11th against Beckfield, the eventual district champions, 97 to 49. That's the first shot is no good. And the most recent game against Union Grove, the team that's hosting this inter-district affair, 66 to 45, excuse me, to 54. Wildcats looking to clinch their first playoff appearance in two seasons. Found can't get the second one to fall. Torres, strong rebound. Out of the break is Hawkins now. Here's Connor. Connor, tough jumper, short corner, can't get it. Gregory rebounds. Has Fountain running as well. Four on one, slows back down, trying to get numbers. Here's Backer. Backer, tough in pass to Johnson, and it's stolen by the Hawks. Here's Torres. Same situation the other way now. Four on one, doesn't matter. Goes up himself, can't get the layup to fall. Back with the rebound, cleaning the glass. And here's Gregory trying to get some kind of flow on offense going. Big Sandy has to strung together back-to-back -to -back scoring possessions since their initial two possessions in the first quarter. Francis, tough follow away jumper, can't get it. Rebound, Connor. Skip pass to the corner to Marshall White. Fantastic hands by foul, can't come down with it. Connor going to be called the travel there. Interesting call to the dismay of the Hawkins fans behind me here, but it will be possession Big Sandy. Both teams playing a solid variety of similar opponents. Some of those opponents including Beckville, McLeod, and Union Grove. Hawkins 5-6 and six against common opponents. Big Sandy 4-7. and seven. Corner 3 for Gregory. No good. Rebounded Marshall White. Here's White back to the top of the key. Connor fires over Gregory. Nothing but net bottoms from downtown. Hawkins going back to extending their lead, picking up where they left off at the end of the second quarter. Over to Gregory, looking to respond. Can't get it to fall. Here's Connor after the Burns rebound. Woo, in and out move, fantastic. Sham got through the lane, gets it in for two. That was a sexy move to say the least. Nice job slashing through the big Sandy Wildcat defense to get the beautiful layup. Backer out to Gregory. Gregory swings it to Francis. Francis takes the three, knocks it down. And nice response there by the, excuse me, by the freshman guard. Stopping the bleeding momentarily. Jake Johnson looking to sub back into the game for big Sandy at the next dead ball. Back to Torres. Torres rises, can't get the left to fall. Going to be called for the loose ball for Gregory Fontley once again. Tough fall to try to go for the rebound. Get it back up, spring it back up quickly under his own power. That's going to be Torres's fourth personal foul. He's definitely going to come back and sit down. Drew Dak is subbing into the ball game. Jake Johnson subbing back into the ball game as well. Here come the Wildcats. And if you're Hawkins and head coach Mike Kraft, you have to smell blood in the water. Even though it's a neutral site game, you can even hear behind me. They have a traveled extremely well, big following as Jack Johnson gets the bucket for two in response. Big Sandy not going, a whole, not going away, however. Here's White. White to Connor. Connor drives, tough floater, can't get it, side iron, no good. Tough rebound and muscle trades by Backard. Gets it out to Gregory. Gregory skips to Fountain. Fountain. Looking for something. Driving is going to be a quick reach and foul caught in the lane. That foul is going to be caught on Hawkins, number 11, Dristan Pruitt. That's going to be a second personal foul. 15 foul. Big Sandy, no team fouls in the second half. Gregory inbounding under his own basket into backer. Triple team in the lane. Goes up himself. Gets it over to Johnson. Nice little skip pass. Ball's going to go down for two more. Big Sandy taking the lead right back where they left off. 36-35, your score. Minute 51 left to go in the third quarter. Into Dacus. Dacus back out. Finds Burns. Top of the key three. He was money in the first half, and the bank is still open. Way downtown. Timeout, Hawkins. And we'll take a timeout as well. You're watching the Atlas Sports Network and the Atlas Sports Network Live Viewer. Powered by Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler. A car is one of the biggest purchases you'll ever make. It's how you get to work, how you take the kids to school, and how you get to some of life's biggest moments. Why not treat it as such? 
Whenever your car needs some tender love and care, visit Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler on 321 South Bonner Avenue, just five minutes south from Christus Trinity Mother Francis Rose Stadium. Joe Thompson and his team of professionals bring decades of under the hood experience to ensure that your car runs to the best of its ability. Any make, any model, any year, Thompson Tire and Services is the only place to get the best service for your car in East Texas. Open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and closed on weekends. Welcome back to the Antler Sports Network. Third quarter of play, minute 42 left to go. Big Sandy taking the lead right back. This is their first lead since the first quarter. 38-36, Hawkins down. Here's Gregory. Clock starting. 139 left to go. Hawkins running a 1-3-1. Always trapping out of it, whether that be their 1-2-2 two, two they had in the first quarter. Gregory, wing three, got it. The momentum continues to shift as Gregory knocks down the three for the Wildcats. 39-38, you're scoring the third quarter now. Hawkins looking to find some kind of a response here. Back to the wing is White. Burns posting up on, ja excuse me, on Jackard in the lane. Doesn't get it. Driving is going to be a foul call. That foul is going to be called on Big Sandy's number 13, Jake Johnson. And that's his fourth. Subbing in for him will be A.J. Johnson. Johnson for Johnson's substitution. Thanks to the line for Hawkins is number two, Boston Connor. His third trip to the charity stripe. Hawkins in their most recent outings back on February the 8th, losing to Union Grove as the first shot falls. Losing by a score of 73-55, to beating Overton on the 11th, 80-50. to And the most recent game on the 14th, losing to district champion Beckville, 99-54. to Second shot, rattles in. 40 to 39, minute 58 to go, excuse me, minute 8 to go. Back in their trapping, 1-3-1 one, one are the Hawks. Backert out to Francis, Francis in the corner, that's three straight from behind the arc. They were on fire from downtown. Hawkins looking to find something on offense. Last time they had a bucket was at the charity stripe, haven't got anything before then. Looking for a three of their own. And they got it. Tristan Pruitt averaging 10 a game. He's definitely going to get there by the end of this one. His first three, one up, one down. Hawkins taking back the one-point lead. Burns with the steal. It's Gregory all by himself under the basket. Jumps through. Fantastic. Euro gets it in for two. 20 seconds and counting left to go in the third. Momentum shifting right back to the Hawks. Skip pass. Into backer. Gregory. Wing three, way downtown, can't get it. A.J. Johnson goes up, no contact. Francis can't get it either, rebound burns. Three seconds, two seconds, one. Connor steps back, lets it fly. Can't get it, front iron, no good. That's the end of the third quarter. Your score, Hawkins 55, Big Sandy 42. We'll take a quick 30-second timeout here on the Antler Sports Network. On the Antler Sports Network live viewer, powered by Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler. You're probably wondering, where is everyone in your area going for screen printing and promotional needs? It's simple. ABS T-Shirt Graphics. They can print on anything. We're talking shirts, hoodies, cups, pens, and pretty much anything that you can put a logo on. ABS T-Shirt Graphics is here to fulfill your company, organization, and fundraising needs. For a free quote, call 903-939-0990. ABS T-Shirt Graphics, located one half of a mile outside of the Loop on 155 South. Don't forget to like them on Facebook. ABS T-Shirt Graphics. Welcome back to the ASN. Fourth quarter of play, just a couple seconds away. We want to give a quick thank you to some of our sponsors for tonight's ball game. Scouting Report, recruiting platform. Be sure to find them on Twitter, Matt Osball. Fantastic connections if you want to get your child, well, some free money with their athletic prowess. Bam Woman and Bam Guy. Magazine and media consulting firm. The Drip Like Jesus of Paraline out of Frisco, Texas. Ball Sock Power Wash in detail. Thompson Tire and Services at Tyler. ABS T-Shirt Graphics, our new sponsor on the ASN. And finally, Monument Realty, the official realtor company of the Dallas Cowboys, the Texas Rangers, and the Antler Sports Network. Fresh eight minutes on the clock. Eight minutes left for either of these teams' seasons. It's win or go home. Winner takes on Douglas in the first round of the OIO State playoffs. Skip pass short by Gregory. He's going to go out of bounds. Hawkins possession. Substitution being made. Torres coming back in. Torres, interesting. Call her by head coach Mike Kraft. Torres having four fouls back into the ball game. Got to let him play it out here. 7.46 left to go. 
Here comes Boston Connor. Gets it to Burns. Torres and Dacus under the basket in a triangle, almost a Hilo Hawaii set here. Driving is Connor. Skips through the lane. Yet another highlight finish for Boston Connor. Hawkins lead increasing. Five point game now. We have an easy contender for the Boss Hawk Power Watch player of the game, Boston Connor. Two highlight plays to say the least. Both slashing this big sandy defense. Skip pass by Gregory to Francis. Francis, lot pass to Johnson. Fantastic hands to finish the layup for two. Skying through the lane. 47 44 year score, seven to five left to go in the ball game. Here's Dacus, top of the key, finds Connor. Connor over to Starska. Starska hitting Burns, far side wing. Burns spinning. Going to be a travel call. Had a mismatch, had Gregory on him. You think you want to get just a little bit deeper in the lane to get some better positioning, but a turnover called. Big Sandy will take possession. 6.45 left to go. Pending substitution for head coach Mike Kraft and the Hawks. Swings it over to Francis. Francis has been cold from deep. I take that back. The announcer Jinx going the other way around this time. We got ourselves a tie ball game. All notched to 47. Six and a half left to go. Here's Connor. Shifting through, going for yet another layup, can't get it to fall. Get, tries to get his own rebound, but can't. Sean Gregory with it. He's speeding. Even two on two break, going up. Can't get it. Going to be an over the back call on A.J. Johnson. That call is going to be the second on him. Second team foul. Substitution being made coming back into the game for the Hawks. Number 11, Tristan Bruitt. Taking a seat will be Drew Dacus. That's nice a motivation by the Hawkins crowd behind me here. Be sure to follow the Antler Sports Network across social media. Find us on YouTube and Facebook. Just search Antler Sports Network on Instagram at Antler Sports Net and on Twitter at Antler underscore SN. Burns, 20-foot jumper, nothing but air. Rebound found, has Gregory streaking. Doesn't find him, however. Steps back and resets. Francis way downtown. Can't get it, front iron. Rebound, excuse me, by Fountain. Torres swing, getting a nice little swing at him across the face. No call there. Here's Francis on the drive. Takes the pull-up mid-range jumper. No good. Johnson goes back up. That's back-to-back -back shots right in the lane for the 6'3 sophomore. Big Sandy taking back the lead. Neither team looking to find the killing blow. Both going shot for shot. Ripped. Fantastic steal by Francis. Can he get a buck out of it? Euro steps, goes up, can't get it. Neither can Johnson rebound Gregory. Gregory turns around, immediately double team, steps back, taking his time, gets an inbound to Backer. For Torres with an easy steal. Here's Pruitt. Pruitt skipping through, can't get it, can't get the rebound as Torres. Lee pass out to Johnson. Johnson going up, can't get the easy layup to go. Crowd behind me, wanting the trouble. Ball don't lie. Francis takes the three, can't get it. Rebound, Connor. Connor, two on two break. Taking his time. Going to try to get the steal in Sean Gregory, and he'll get called for a reach and foul the lane. That's the second personal foul. 13 foul for the Wildcats. Fans behind us not happy. Hawks inbounding under their own basket. Kicks out to Starska. Starska to Connor. Gregory on him. Burns, top of the key three. He's been money and cash. He still is. Burns from downtown. Timeout Daniel Shipman, and we'll take a timeout with him. We'll be back on the Anthem Sports Network and the Anthem Sports Network Live. Be powered by Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler. Welcome to the Bam Woman Show, live with Jen and Toya. The Bam Woman Show offers women, men, and children a platform to showcase their business, their brand, to share their story, their journey as an entrepreneur, offer advice, share life experiences. You can follow us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, LinkedIn, you can send us an email at info at bamwomanmagazine.com. Don't forget to visit our website, www.bamwoman.com. Our show airs on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Can't wait to meet you. Welcome back to the Antler Sports Network. Both teams coming out of the timeout. Want to give a quick thank you to some of our sponsors yet again. Thompson Tire Services and Tyler, the Drip Like Jesus Apparel Line, Bam Woman and Man Magazine and Media Consulting Firm. Scouting Report, 
Monument Realty, the official realtor company of the Antler Sports Network, Dallas Cowboys and Texas Rangers, and ABF Future Graphics in Tyler. 59-49, your score, 439 left to go in this ball game. One of these teams sees this, will end tonight. Fantastic defense by Torres, playing with four fouls. Doesn't want to draw anything here. Going up is found, and he's got it. Gets the follow away, layup to go. Big Sandy taking the lead right back. Here's Connor. Connor out to Torres. Torres swings it to Marshall White. White back out. Connor, going to be an offensive foul. Foul is going to be on Hawkins number two, Boston Connor. That's his third. Here come the Wildcats, taking their time. Gregory crossing the timeline. Hands it off to Fountain, has Torres on him. Torres with four fouls, reaching. Takes the screen from Johnson. Johnson fading to the top of the key, steps back. Long two, got it to go. Three-point lead now, 53 to 50. 3.45 left to go, Hawkins sees it's a bucket. Here's Connor. Connor looking for something. Connor to Burns, corner three, he's got it. Timeout Mike Kraft as Burns keeps the Hawks in this ball game. We'll take that same timeout with him. You're watching the Antler Sports Network and the Antler Sports Network Live View. We're powered by Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler. To make winning decisions, you need a championship team in your corner. Monument Realty, led by Anthony Heider, is that championship team. With countless houses sold in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, you're sure to score the right abode for you and your family. If finding the perfect home is in your future's game plan, then Monument Realty and Anthony Heider are your perfect play call to get the job done. Monument Realty in Frisco, Texas, the official realtor company of the Dallas Cowboys, the Texas Rangers, and the Antler Sports Network. Welcome back to the ASN. Whew. Fair to say, Bryce Burns been letting him fly from downtown. More than three threes from behind the arc in the first half, continuing right where he left off, tying this ball game right back up with 3.32 left to go. 53 all here at Union Grove High School here in the Lions Center. Johnson with the screen. Here's Fountain. Has Flores on him. Johnson drives. Ball rattles, no good. He'll have to get to the easy way. That foul is going to be on Hawkins number 21, Bryce Burns, hitting that big time three. That's the second personal foul. Heading to the line for the Big Sandy Wildcats is number 23, A.J. Johnson. First shot, rattles in. Big Sandy, just two years ago, their last playoff appearance fell to McLeod in the third round. Had a pretty decent run. McLeod winning their district, looking forward to their first round matchup, respectively. Second shot, gets the shooter's roll, and it's good. Here come the Hawks, down two. 3.15 left to go. Season on the line. Here's White, over to Torres. Torres to Connor, into Burns. Burns, Johnson on him, pump fakes, wide open wing, Pruitt, three, can't get it to fall, Fountain with the rebound. Fountain, over to Gregory. Gregory has Connor on him, official stopping his count. Hands off to Francis. Francis drives into Backert. Backert, posting up on Burns. Gets a spin move over to Johnson. Open three. Can't get it. Johnson's been cold from the on the yard along with the rest of the starting lineup. Only ones that have been able to hit for this Big Sandy team are Gregory, Fountain, and even Francis City a couple early in the first half. Going up will be number two, Boston Connor. That foul is going to be on at Big Sandy's number two, Sean Gregory, his third personal. Team foul number four, subbing back into the game after this first free throw. Missed free throw will be number three. Micah Starska, something back into the game, is Jake Johnson. A.J. Johnson taking a seat. Another Johnson for Johnson, substitution by head coach Daniel Shipman. The first time in school history for both of these teams to be meeting at a neutral site 
for a chance at a playoff berth as the second shot falls. 55-54, your score. Big Sandy still holding the tight one-point lead. Here's Fountain. Fountain. Hands it off to Gregory. Gregory drives, losing his footing out to Backert. Backert spins, goes up. Official blows his whistle. Going to be a travel call. Backer probably the most easy to recognize on the floor. The loud lime green shoes on this afternoon's ball game. Here's Pruitt. In to Torres. Torres can't get it. Gets his own rebound. Goes right back up with it. And one. Count the bucket. Jeremy Torres, a 6'3 pivot man. Right under the basket. Fighting through contact. And the foul. Minute 58 left to go. That might be the spark Hawkins needed. That's going to foul. going to be the first foul on Kamari Fountain. Shot is good. Torres playing with four fouls, getting, drawing a foul of his own. Backer going up. Ooh. Tough contact there. Hitting his head on the, right on the basket. Seems to pop right back up. Seems to be good. Foul's going to be on Hawkins, number 21. Price Burns, that's his third personal foul. Eighth team foul, Big Sandy now, playing with house money, shooting one and one on every foul call now. Here's Backer. First shot, got it. 57-56, 153 left to go in this ball game. It's winner go home here in Union Grove, Texas. The fans behind me are into it. Second shot, got it. Clutch free throw from Jezreel Backer, 57 all. Minute 50 left to go. It's crunch time now. Here's Boston Connor. Connor swings it over to Pruitt. Torres goes up. Can't get it. Back at rebounds. Up to Fountain. Fountain's running. Jack Johnson with it in the corner. Swings it to Fountain. Fountain taking his time. Texas dribble. Official stopping his count. Guarded by Pruitt. Into Backert. Backert out to Fountain. Fountain for three. Can't get it. Rebounded by Stoska. Stoska swings it to Connor. Connor drives. Burns. He's been money. Spins. Stolen by Francis. Francis has Gregory in front of him. Takes the floater off the glass. Can't get it. Rebound Burns. Tough rebound Burns. Out to Connor. Connor running, 55 seconds left to go. Pulls up for three, got it! Three-pointer is good. Officials timeout. Gregory seems to have been down on the floor. Officials here at the scores table. Going to try to clean up the mess under the basket. Want to take a quick second to thank our sponsors for this afternoon's ball game. Scouting Report, Scouting Platform on Twitter. Bamboo Woman and Guy Magazine and Consulting Firm. Drip Like Jesus Apparel Line. Boss Hog, Power Washing and Detail. Thompson Tire and Services and Tyler. ABS T-Shirt Graphics. And Monument Realty, the official realtor company of the Dallas, excuse me, of the Dallas Cowboys, the Texas Rangers, and the Antler Sports Network. Full timeout called, and we'll take that same timeout with them. We'll be back in 30 seconds on the Antler Sports Network. And the Antler Sports Network Live View are powered by Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler. You're probably wondering, where is everyone in your area going for screen printing and promotional needs? It's simple. ABS T-Shirt Graphics. They can print on anything. We're talking shirts, hoodies, cups, pens, and pretty much anything that you can put a logo on. ABS T-Shirt Graphics is here to fulfill your company, organization, and fundraising needs. For a free quote, call 903-939-0990. ABS T-Shirt Graphics, located one half of a mile outside of the loop on 155 South. Don't forget to like them on Facebook. ABS T-Shirt Graphics. Welcome back to the Antler Sports Network as the first horn sounds. Fourth quarter, less than a minute to go. We're going to have back to back, -to -back Brock, and so we're going to have co-winners for the Ball Sox Power Boss Player of the Game. First winner is, of course, number two, Boston Connor. 
hitting that clutch three to propel the Hawks to their current three-point lead. And also Bryce Burns been burning the Wildcats. Fun and send it from behind the arc. 50 seconds left. Big Sandy possession. Hawkins. Full court press implemented. It's winner go home. Four of the best words in sports. Winner plays Douglas in the first round. It's into Gregory. Gregory didn't get the handoff out to Fountain. Gets it to him this time. They got a hustle. Trying to cross the timeline is Fountain and does. No carry caught along the sideline. Take this time yet again. Gregory crossing in front of Fountain. Fountain taking his time. Has Pruitt on him. 30 seconds left to go. This could be the ball game. Going to be a foul call. That foul is going to be called on Boston Connor. His fourth personal foul. 19 foul. Heading to the line for the biggest free throws of the season is number two. Sean Gregory heading back to the line. First shot. Can't get it. Gets his own rebound. Goes back up. Yet another foul call. He's going to head to the line. This time it's going to be for two. That foul is once again going to be on Boston Connor. And that's it. He's done. Boston Connor has fouled out of the ball game. The straw that serves to drink for this Hawkins offense is done. Drew Dacus will sub back into this ball game. Marshall White instead going to come back in, ask Connor, gets possible his final ovation of the season. 25 seconds left. Gregory on the line, and it will be a timeout for Hawkins. Going to be a full timeout, and we'll take that timeout with him. You're watching the Antler Sports Network and the Antler Sports Network Live Viewer, powered by Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler. To make winning decisions, you need a championship team in your corner. Monument Realty, led by Anthony Hyder, is that championship team. With countless houses sold in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, you're sure to score the right abode for you and your family. If finding the perfect home is in your future's game plan, then Monument Realty and Anthony Hyder are your perfect play call to get the job done. Monument Realty in Frisco, Texas, the official realtor company of the Dallas Cowboys, the Texas Rangers, and the Antler Sports Network. Hello, my name is Tarnisha. And my name's Anthony. And we own Drip Like Jesus. Drip stands for devote, reach, influence people, just like Jesus did. Each one of our apparel has a scripture on the back that goes with the design. It's our cool way of spreading the gospel and looking fly. We are located in Stonebriar Mall in Frisco and also online at www.driplikejesus.com. So feel free to go online and shop or come check us out in Frisco. And thank you for helping us spread the gospel. Welcome back to the Antler Sports Network. 25 and point three left to go in this ball game. Sean Gregory on the line for two shots. Hawkins, two timeouts. Big Sandy only with one. First shot. No good. That was huge to say the least. Needed every point they can get. Important note, Torres, Jeremy Torres still in the game for Hawkins. Currently sitting with four fouls. Second shot's good. They got to get a stop or a turnover and fast. Going to get in. Gregory try to get the steal. Falls out of bounds. Going to need to get something going here. It's Burns. Burns. Up to Stoska, falls out of bounds, doesn't get it. Back up to Burns again. Burns swings it to White. 14 seconds now. Over to Torres, and Torres gets fouled. Jezreel Backer going to be called for that intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. 16 foul on Big Sandy. Still one more to get into the one and one. Inbounds it into Stoska. Stoska hands it off to White. White forces, gets stolen, tries to go through with Gregory, and that's going to be a foul call. That foul is going to be on Sean Gregory. That's his fourth foul. Heading to the line for one and one. Marshall White, he's been a spark for the Hawks off the bench. Four seconds left. He can hit both of these free throws. Might be able to chalk this one up. 60 to 58, your score fourth quarter. Season on the line. First shot's up. 
Rattles out, no good. Backard with it, timeout, Big Sandy. Still waiting to see what that timeout's gonna be. Gonna be a full timeout, final timeout for Big Sandy. We'll be back on the Antler Sports Network and the Antler Sports Network Live View, powered by Thompson Tire Service in Tyler. <laughs> Welcome back to the Antler Sports Network. Three and a half seconds left to go in the fourth. First horn sounds. Backer corralling the rebound after the Marshall White miss from the line. Big Sandy, an opportunity to at least die. If you ask me, if you're head coach Daniel Shipman, you want to get the easiest bucket possible, whether that be a three or a two, don't want to go for anything specific, just be nice and simple. Get the ball in the hole. 4.4 left. Inbounds to Francis. Francis up to Johnson. Johnson for the season. No good. Hawkins wins. Hawkins wins. Hawkins is moving on to the playoffs to face Douglas in the first round. Your final score here at Lions Center on the campus of Union Grove High School. The Hawkins Hawks 60. The Big Sandy Wildcats 58. Thank you all for watching this presentation of the Antler Sports Network on the Antler Sports Network Live Viewer. My name is Jared Jones. Have a good one, everybody.